one of Australia's newest industrial centres is Fisherman's Bend near Melbourne. Now the centre of manufacture of Australia's first produced motor car, the Holden. And that's how she looks. The car has a Junkyards. They are a place where cars are laid to rest and parts stripped to give others a second chance on the road. Without these establishments, the automotive industry would greatly suffer. So join me as I travel around and explore what these places have to offer. It was the year 1948 and Holden Motor Company released its first car made entirely in Australia. The FX model Holden was hugely successful, with waiting lists stretching almost a year ahead from when the car was first released. Over 120,000 FX units were produced and history was made. In the coming decades, Holden would manufacture iconic models such as the Tirana, Monaro and Kingswood. I was granted exclusive access to come film inside Dinkum Autos, where Chris and his team specialize in dismantling and restoring pre-Commodore Chrome Bumper Holdens. Welcome back to another Wreckers video. In this episode, I've been invited by my good mate Hugh to check out his dad's old Holden Wreckers. So this Wreckers is full of old classic Holdens, pre-Commodore stuff. So we got Tiranas, more Tiranas. We've got a Dodge Kingway, not a Holden, but still, you get the point. We're gonna go inside, check it out. Before we head inside, I wanna give a massive shout out to Chris and Dinkum Autos for letting me film. This is really special. Usually people aren't allowed inside, so I'm feeling very honored. Before we go inside, I just wanna preface something. I love old Holdens a lot, but I don't know much about them, so I'm gonna get a lot of things wrong. He's gonna try his best to correct me on things. If I get anything wrong, just bear that in mind, all right? Don't, don't yell at me in the comments. But we're gonna start off with this Tirana. Hugh, what's this Tirana LC? So this thing, although in the Tirana world isn't anything special, this is kind of rare. It's a four cylinder Tirana. So it's an LJ, four door with Tiranas. The four cylinders were actually shorter in the nose than the six cylinder and the eight cylinder ones. I've worked on one that had a boosted Ecotech and that was pretty cool. But yeah, otherwise they look pretty much the same. But if you're eagle eyed, you'd know that it's a four cylinder because the nose is shorter. And over here, we have another LJ, this one, in considerably worse condition. But this is also a four cylinder car. So we got two kind of rare Tiranas here. One's a four door, and one's a two door. This one definitely has seen better days. I wanna see inside this thing because I've only ever been in one Tirana. It's an LX Tirana, an A9X mock-up, my mate's one. So <laughs> the first thing I see is that the door is full of water. But inside looks like a classic 70s car. The seats, I'm pretty sure these are vinyl seats. This one's a four on the floor, the Aussie four speed. Otherwise, it's all very classic 70s. I love it. Fun fact, I actually like old Holdens more than old Fords. I don't know why. I like new Fords more than new Holdens. All right, this one here, this is going into territory that I don't even know about. But Hugh has advised me that this is a FC Holden. I don't really know anything about them. I know, did these come through in the tree? It's got like a club lock thing on it. Wow, this is cool. It's even got an old club lock on it. It looks like, yeah, it looks like the club lock goes over the the shifter as well and it locks it to the steering wheel. So you physically can't steal this thing. I wonder if it's, no. Well, there you go. A lot of patina on this thing. I'm very out of my element here, so although I find this stuff very cool and fascinating, I don't know much about it, so. But anyway, let's go inside, check out what's inside. I'm gonna briefly gloss over the office space here. Chris normally would sit here, but this is mainly an online store. It's an eBay store. So if you guys need anything for your old Holden, please come and check out Dinkin Autos. Give him a call or just check out the uh, eBay store. Chris is a very knowledgeable guy, so I'll show you his personal car in a sec. Over the last four and a bit years that I've known Hugh, he would always send me Snapchats and videos of his dad's shop. And I always wanted to come down and check it out. I was really intrigued by all the old Holdens there. And when I walked through those doors, I was very pleasantly surprised. So first impressions, unlike all the other wreckers I've been to, this thing has a roof, which is pretty ideal. Look at this thing. Hugh, what's this thing? Isn't that Holden? So there's heaps and heaps of stock here. There's doors, there's transmissions, there's heads over there. I saw a couple of blocks earlier. Here's a, it's a 202. It's a 2.2 litre. It's like the original Holden 6. Oh, okay. So it'd be what's in that FC outside? Yeah, yeah. It's sort of? Slightly different versions of it, but yeah, it's called a grey motor. Well, I learned something new today. I thought I just looked at that and it immediately assumed that was a 202, but. You got like the grey motor, it's like 130 cubes, and you got the 138, mm. the 149, the 161, 173, 
173 HP, 179, 186, and then the 202. Fair enough. So we're going to start off with this. I'm really testing my limited knowledge of old Holdens here. I, I feel like I'm like speaking another language. I'm like pointing at different cars. I'm going, oh, is that a HG? Is that a HD? And he's going, no, no, they're not. But this thing is a HT. I thought it was a HX, but no, it's a, yeah, th th this is a HX. So we'll get to that in a second. So this is a HT Kingswood. Now, from my understanding, for the base model is a Belmont and then the Kingswood is above it. And what's above that Premier? And then after that is a Brom. So this thing is a factory 186 and something that's really cool, bench seat, of course, power glide. As uh, Hugh just told me, it's got a column glide. So it's a, for anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's a two speed automatic. Because it's got a bench seat, obviously you can't have anything on the floor. So it's got a column glide. It's pretty cool. Um, another fun fact, Hugh has a record holding XR6 Turbo with a power glide. I did a video on it a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's got a power glide. So this thing came factory with it. So the only other straight six that's above this is a 202, which a lot of people are more familiar with. This thing's a 186, so it's a three liter. The 202 is a 3.3 liter. The whole block is painted red and they're not a cross flow engine. They have the intake and exhaust manifold as like as a whole. Obviously it's carbureted. There's not really much going on here, which is a good thing. So he reckons that this is the coolest car here. This is a HX GTS Monaro. I was always under the assumption that GTS Monaros were two doors, but only the, I know I know my mate's dad has a HG Monaro and that's a two door. Yeah, so like, yeah, these ones are four door. There are like, there are some weird two door versions. Like there's this thing called a Monaro LS, mm -hmm. but that's like a HQ sort of variant. Yeah. Um, these aren't actually very common. They're not as popular as like the HQs and stuff. Yeah. HX is, you don't really see them around much, so. I've, I've never seen one before. Yeah, so like you said, it's got a 308 iron line. I wish I knew more about these things because these are really cool. So apparently this thing has been getting restored over the past five years. So as well as Chris being here, there's also another guy, Barry, who does uh, his own restorations. I'm gonna touch on the XE1 soon, because that's probably my favorite car here. <music> This thing is either an FX or an FJ Holden. Some, someone in the comments will tell me. Hugh, Hugh and I aren't really sure. Obviously, it's, it's hard to tell because there's no bumpers on it. What year would this be? 1948. Yeah, so it's the first Holden ever. 40s to early 50s, yeah. This is crazy. Looks like I'm opening the, fr the front door to my house. So yeah, the, these came with uh, the original Holden 6, so the gray motor, which is a 2.2 liter, 130 cubic inch, and they only came manual, three on the tree, which is pretty cool. And he was telling me earlier that the three speeds, they didn't have synchros uh, in first so gear. Synchro in first gear, so you have to come to a complete stop to yeah. put it back in first gear. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty full cream. Next, I decided to check out Hugh's dad's Tirana, which he bought many, many years ago as a rolling shell. And although it was just a six cylinder four door LC, it came with a factory turquoise interior. That's what made it very cool and rare. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about Hugh's dad's personal car. So Chris's personal car, the owner of Dinkum. Okay, so it's a 1971 Holden LC SL Tirana. Uh, he's owned the car for a long time. Bought it back in 2006 when I was like a little kid. Had no motor, no box, uh, no taillights. We basically turned it into a running car. At the moment, it's got no motor because the motor had to be pulled out. Had a couple of issues, but probably the coolest thing about this car is it's got factory turquoise interior, which is extremely rare. You pretty much almost never see that in, on old Holdens. It actually has been to the track a few times with a VK EFI motor with a big cam in it and stuff. It went uh, 14 one at like 9,900 mile an hour. Really fun car, had big like 280 duration camshaft in it. So this has obviously a bit of history. His dad's owned a lot of old Holdens. When he was a kid, his dad also had a HT Premier, Egyptian bronze. So yeah, he's been around old Holdens his whole life, which is quite ironic. He has an XR6 Turbo. All the 161s, 186s, the 202s, they sound really good, especially when you put a set of Genie extractors on it and they sound like, like a BMW straight six. They sound like, a lot like a Nissan L series straight six. Nissan L series. It's like L24, L26, L26. So like 240Z, 260Z yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's got some vice grips for brake calipers. That's pretty cool. 
It was then time to check out the rarest car in the shop, an LC XC1 GTR Tirana. And I felt so honored to be even standing next to this thing because they are so rare. All right, so this thing is pretty special. It's a genuine LC XU1. I feel very honored to stand next to this thing because not only do you not see these anywhere, you never see them driving and you barely ever see them just like in a place like this. Usually Chris doesn't allow people to come back here for obvious reasons, there's a lot of expensive stuff. So, well, unlike the a 9 xs that came afterwards, the special edition Tiranas, this thing, all, all LCs that came with either four cylinder or a six cylinder. So this one is most likely, he's telling me is a one, six, one. Uh, oh, it's got a 202 in it, a 202 swapped it. Oh, there you go. This thing's got a 202. Yeah, so this is a four on the floor car, two door, obviously. Another fun fact about these, the two door and the four door have the same wheelbase. So sometimes what people do is they get a four door and they weld in a pillar, a B pillar from a two door and weld the rear door shut and smooth it over and everything. And then they have a, a Bilo two door LC. But yeah, it's pretty cool that back in the day they came out purple and I know that cars back then, obviously they use lead based paint. And then if they had to get repainted after they use acrylic paint so it's super super soft um, but it's it's period correct so this is another one of uh barry's restos i'm guessing it's for a customer so factory these came out with i um, pretty sure they came with gray motors so like that sitting over there but this thing he's telling me has been 186 swapped oh yeah see where it says 186 yep oh, okay that's pretty cool so it's kind of like a, a resto mod but still using old holden parts but yeah that's basically it for the cars <laughs> If you're looking for anything for an old Holden, you come to Chris, he'll sort you out. Check all this out. Literally full of old parts. He's got like a monopoly here. I don't know of many people that have this sort of stuff, let alone for old Holdens. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our uh, Tinkham Autos. Thank you once again to Chris for letting me come down here. And Hugh, if you guys liked the video, leave some feedback in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.